Good morning everyone, today we're back working with the construction business. It's been a few weeks since the previous episode, so I thought, hey, why don't I bring the cam along? And we do have a pretty big project, and the goal is to get it done today. Let's hop in the Ram Cummins, let's get on over to Yard. It's a cold start here on the Ram Cummins. This is a 2500 mega cab tuned with quite a few off-road parts here. But today, like I mentioned, guys, is a pretty big project. We are going to be building a barn to minimum. This is going to be pretty cool. One of my first times building one. And you guys might be asking, what is a barn to minimum? And it is a pretty much a barn mixed with a condo where you have living space where you can live, but also have storage. And this is pretty sweet here. And the customer is actually starting, I believe, a concrete uh, and landscaping business and uh, he decided uh, to build a barn dominium which is pretty cool here but like always guys there's a full mods list linked down below and if you do end up enjoying today's video please hit the like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. On these cold fall mornings, guys, a cup of coffee really helps me uh, get woken up, warms me up a bit, and I definitely am going to get a few throughout the day here as well, and I did have a chocolate chip muffin, along with a few little breakfast snacks, so I'm all good to go, and we should be able to probably get a late lunch, hey, uh, we might only have enough time to get a few snacks here, but we're actually heading to the yard, and we actually rent out a small uh, area at the farmer's lot, he rents it out to several businesses here, and with a construction business, we're always doing a job uh, so there's really nothing even at the yard really only during the winter months is when we have to bring the equipment back here to store it and we're pulling up to the yard here you guys can see looks like a few of the employees have arrived here and I did bring the rest of the equipment over there yesterday I tried to get the majority of it the day before here but you guys can see we have a brand new 2021 uh, Chevy 3500 Duramax dually now I think this is a mid uh, to lower trim level here I really I really do like it here it looks pretty cool now it is a dually especially for uh, the construction business since we're telling big uh, trailers and things like that you guys can see we got a big text and we do have the uh, deer 333g uh, track skid loader here so we'll get the duramax warmed up here i'm just gonna really quickly uh sign on to my phone see what everybody's doing for a day and then it, we'll get rolling Today's drop is only a few miles up the road here from the yard. Now, you guys might be asking, what exactly are we going to be doing here with a bar and a minium? Well, I got the entire contract here, but I'm going to be subcontracting out the lumber and all that here. So, mainly with the construction business today, we are going to be doing the foundation, uh, doing the grading of the lots, and we are also going to be working on the driveway here. Now, we should be able to get it all done today, even pouring the concrete, uh, getting the walls up, everything is going to be done by the end of today. Hey, we might be working until 7, 8 p.m. at night, but if we could get it done, that would help us on out here since we have so much projects that we're still trying to squeeze in before the winter months here. But take a look at that. All the equipment is here, so I got to find a parking spot. I might as well uh, just kind of park over here. Now, I usually like to prefer on the proper side of the road for parking, but uh, hey, we do not really want to be driving machines over a country road like this. That is pretty busy, but here it is guys so this is the lot there is a lot a lot of work we need to do here the first thing guys can see it's up and down and he wants it a nice level area there uh, for the barn menu and, and, and the driveway so we're gonna be working on that here I believe this is about an acre and a half to two acres and we're probably gonna be setting it back probably about in half an acre here but really quickly let's take a look at all the equipment we have a Kenworth C800 triaxle here with the little boy transporting our Cat 311 F excavator here. This is actually going to be my first time featuring this here in the videos. Uh, this is a pretty cool mod. I found this on one of the mod websites. And like I mentioned, all the mods is linked down below there. So we're going to be using that along with this Komatsu Dozer. You guys can see, let's see, let's see. It's a 65 PXI. This thing is going to be perfect here. Now we could actually adjust the tilt of the side by side, which is going to be perfect. Perfect here and then finally you guys can see we have our international uh, tandem axle dump truck so we should be good to go so I'm thinking why don't we get that excavator going get working on the foundation first I think once the foundation is in then we're gonna get going on doing all the grading because we should be able to get them uh, some dirt from there and then we're gonna have to haul some in as well all right, let's hop in. Let's get it fired on up here. Now, we do want to make sure we raise that blade 
Let's see really quickly if we can. We don't want to be uh, dragging into here on the trailer, especially the lower boy. So there we go. We'll switch on back here to the arms. Now, you guys might be asking, why do we not have teeth here? I don't think the ground is going to be really too frozen. This looks to be old farmland here, so we should have no problem, which is going to be a big bonus here for us. And I did want a grading bucket since there is going to be a lot, a lot of grading. You guys can see the up and downs really uh, need to get uh, worked out as well. But a uh, bar minimum, guys, is so cool. Hey, if you guys want to see more construction videos, please let me know here. I really want to keep making more unique videos, and I thought this would be a pretty epic one here for as well but we have a lot of excavating the foundation though it is uh, i think should uh, not take too long here for us we should be able to do a pretty good job here let's see if we can get going though on excavating now we do have levelers we do have so much cool things here inside uh, this excavator which is going to help us on out here oh yeah first uh shovel going in here and we'll just make a pile and then we could always use a dozer to move it around especially for the grading part i think that's what we're going to do Alright, we're making pretty good progress here, you guys, since we have the foundation pretty much dug, and we're ready to go for concrete here, but now it's time, guys, to hop in that Komatsu. I really want to see if we could do a lot of grading here, that way we could uh, pass a little bit of time as we wait for the forms to be installed here, and uh, for the concrete to be poured here. Now, I did hire a crew to do that, uh, since my specialty is mainly the excavation side, and uh, hey, uh, there are so many parts to this project, we could help some other companies out that we're a little bit slower with business and give them a little bit here and uh, in that way we can get the project done in one day here but we have a lot of work here to do with the dozer locally this has laser levels and everything here so we should be good to go uh, to make this a nice and flat area here it's gonna be a lot of work but I'm really excited uh, to kind of see how this lot's gonna turn out once we uh, uh, spend a few hours with the dozer now, I hope everyone's been having a fantastic day so far here. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been pretty good, and I'm just really excited to be back here making some videos here. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking for more construction videos, and I thought this would be a pretty neat one here. So let me know if you do have any cool uh, uh, ideas here as well, and I can't wait for FS22. Uh, definitely, uh, hopefully we can do some uh, construction videos there. That should be a lot of fun. There's so much uh, big things here in the works here for the channel, and I can't wait for the new game a few hours worth of work here with a dozer take a look at that guys i will say uh, for not really using the dozer too much i did a pretty good job here now i did leave about uh, 10 15 feet from the roadway and then it, i decided to level from there otherwise it wouldn't be a really good transition and he did ask for a nice and smooth one here wow we're making really good progress look at that all nice and level this will be perfect if he wants to expand have another barn uh, storage or anything else here on the property that should work here but looking at the time guys on my watch it shows it's just before 1 p.m. here and we have a lot of building materials arriving I think we have plywood and, and all the lumber uh, and then we do have a few more deliveries and then it should be uh, going a full steam ahead with uh, the uh, other people arriving here to help put it together so I think we're gonna wait on the delivery truck and hey I think I'm gonna eat my lunch now
Well guys, the construction of the barn dominium has completed. Take a look at it. It definitely looks pretty cool here. A little bit of farm style, which not exactly what you would think of for kind of a steel, a barn dominium building here, but it does look pretty cool. And really quickly guys, we don't have power, so we can't really open the garage doors, but down below, this is all the garage area, and up top is the living space, and uh, it's a really cool home here. Definitely a pretty neat way uh, to definitely own a shop and own a house at the same time here. But the last thing we have to do before we could get going, and it's already uh, almost 6 p.m. here, so the sun's going to be setting pretty quickly. I do want to unload all that gravel here, get on the skid steer, and see if we could put a gravel driveway in. Now, I do believe he's not even going to be paving it. He said he'll just put some new rocks down every uh, few years when the driveway needs it. Now guys, I am going to be doing the tailgating effect here. This is a really cool trick that I've learned a very long time ago. And it does come in pretty handy here. So we are actually going to be making a little bit more of a bigger pile uh, at the uh, entrance here. Because it's going to get opened up here. And then as you get closer to the roadway, it's just going to get pretty much a car's length there. So there we have it. We'll hop on the skid here. I do probably need enough, probably about another 20 tons of gravel. We're just going to have to wait and see there. But I will say guys, this is a pretty cool pile project definitely a pretty unique one hey maybe uh, people in the area will see that we make these now and we could take on more jobs like this because this seems to be a pretty fun one but you guys can see we're gonna be hard at work here probably for another uh, few hours here lots more work uh, we have to get the driveway all done here but I will say guys uh, construction jobs like this are a lot of fun here but I think I'm gonna be finishing up here off camera there's gonna be a lot more work uh, to do here I do want to get the lasers out here make sure this is nice and level and everything like that but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video building this barn minimum pretty unique here in farming simulator 19 but until next time guys thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more